Right, okay, so good morning and welcome back to another video. I'm here in Wedmore with Pete. We're going over to Cheddar Gorge today, do a bit of filming. Because we always just cycle up it or cycle down it. We never actually just spend any time there and really appreciate just how beautiful the gorge is. So we're going to do that today. And uh, we're going to change a little things with the branding. So you might find a, a new picture uh, as our YouTube logo. But hope you like it. Yeah. Hope you're feeling fit. Yeah, today's route could be an absolute belter or it could be a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> you got some off-road sections for us today? Yeah, there's, we might not get through some of them. We'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But we've used Kamut again, what I have. Um, yes, yeah, so there's some trails. You'll be fine on your bike. I don't know about mine. Yeah, so Cheddar Reservoir. Up the gorge, down Burrington Coombe, which we never really do, do we? We, we don't go up it. No, but there is an ice cream van at the top, the fingers crossed. <laughs> and then um, we're going to wiggle our way along to West Hartree, but in some different different climbs and back over the Mendips. Yeah, some interesting roads today. Let's do it. This little wet stuff coming out of the sky, Pete. I thought it was supposed to be dry today. I've given up looking at the forecast now because <laughs> it's never right. No. You were saying this morning now it's going to be nice and sunny today. Wrong. Not a chance. No. <laughs> So here we are at Cheddar Reservoir. We had planned to go that way, but it's a bit more gravelly than the tarmac that way. So we're gonna go around that way. But it is possible to cycle around the Cheddar Reservoir. Oh, yeah. So Peter. So I went to go and see one of my best mates, James, yesterday. Yeah. And his dad, who also subscribes to the channel, criticised me for always taking my glasses off. So I had to try to not touch my glasses. So I'm doing... Yeah, but that's, that's for personal eye contact. That's the personalization, surely, isn't it? Yeah, he, uh, he told me off. <laughs> <laughs> Foot down. <laughs> yeah, so that was Cheddar Reservoir. We only went uh, about a quarter of the way around. You can go the whole way around if you want, out the same entrance you came in. But we're off to Cheddar Gorge now. And it's looking a little bit gray and murky over there. We're not happy with the weather, man. We're definitely not happy with the weather, man. Yeah, so normally the, the segment starts back just over the bridge and you'll be smashing it up this bit. Before you get to the seat bit, it's where you can make the most time. We're going flat out here. Time to appreciate this, do we? No. You're always going in a group, or you're going full gas up here. I've never stopped and sat down and appreciated it. No, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, it is stunning. It's a shame it's quite gloomy today. When the sun's out, this is a nice place to be. Very nice place to be.
What a stunning place to ride your bike, eh? Amazing. This is the bend that everybody fears. This is the, well, it says 16%, but always on your Strava, it says about 33. So it is quite steep up around the bend, but this is the bit that once you get past, it's all quite a gentle, gradual uh, rise all, up, all the way up to the top. And it is pretty much flat. You can pretty much go flat out. As Robin Radford says, chuck it in the big dog and go like stink. <laughs> and he didn't say go like stink. <laughs> Certainly what we haven't seen today so far is the goats. And I've just spotted one up on the hill. But they are a bit of a hazard when you're coming downhill. Yeah, especially during lockdown, they're yeah. all over the road. You, uh, yeah, they were re reclaiming the road in lockdown. But if you are descending the gorge, please be aware there are goats everywhere. Where are we supposed to be today, Pete? We were meant to be in Scotland, doing the North Coast 500. North Coast 500, yeah. To celebrate my 50th birthday, and because uh, it's a challenge we wanted to do. Um, probably a better job with this weather. Yeah. It's not been great. But is this uh, a consolation for you, Pete? Yeah, Gorge? this is all right, isn't it? This is, this is beautiful enough. Yeah. It's not the Acton Bar, but it's <laughs> Cheddar Gorge. So be rest assured, we will be bringing videos from the North Coast 500 in the very near future. As soon as we're allowed back up to Scotland. Not 100% sure because uh, the life segments on both my Wahoo and Pete's Garmin both go haywire through the gorge when it loses signal. But we believe that this is actually the finish line of the segment because after this it gets flat and not the finish line that everybody actually races to, which is up by the junction. But it's here somewhere. getting into position for the final sprint and you're racing people up here. Yeah, sprint's coming up. And they're still with you. So we've turned off the road up towards Chart House Peak, which we always come the other way, to be fair. And it's always a headwind. So I was yeah. fully expecting, knowing our luck, we turn up here now and it fully in the face be a headwind, but... It's a tailwind. It's a tailwind. <laughs> we finally got a tailwind on this stretch of road, but we've had to go uphill to do it. Hey ho. We Shot. sprint. Should we sprint? No, <laughs> no, not. No, I had to sprint over to uh, Wedmore this morning because someone changed the meat start point. Yeah, I, you don't <laughs> want to see my eyes behind your glasses. I'm very tired this morning. <laughs> so, where's next? Charles? Yeah, Charles House is next, and then down Barrington Coombe. Hopefully, there's an ice cream ice band cream. waiting at the top. Fingers crossed. It's not really the weather for ice cream, but. He's got to make some money somehow, hasn't he? <laughs> A few fact checks about Cheddar Gorge for you. There have been over 30,000 uh, attempts up that Cheddar Gorge segment, and a lot of those wouldn't have registered because <laughs> they say it's a little bit of a GPS black spot. He says I've done it 66 times, and my fastest time up there is 10.53, so that's my PR up there. I don't think I can get anywhere near that now. Um, that was a long time ago with somebody screaming at me to try, <laughs> try and motivate me to get up there, and it worked. So uh, yeah, thank you Tom Price for that, it did help me get that PR, um, I don't know what Pete's PR is. I don't know your PR at the Cheddar Gorge. Uh, I think it's 11.23. 11.23, Pete wants to get sub 11 minutes, yeah, yeah. so there's a video coming up soon, we're going to see if we can get him under 11 minutes, let's see if I can turn along the top bit. Oh, yeah. My fastest time is 11.38. 11.38, he's knocking seconds off already, so he wants 38 seconds off that time, so we'll see if we can give it to him. We're, we're two very very different climbers. Um, Pete, if we were to race, I think Pete would lose me on the bottom bit and I would be clawing it back all the way along the top Oh yeah. as I'm putting down the power because uh, that gradual segment at the top there is, is my domain. 
but uh, yeah, it could be close. I'd be clinging on at the top, <laughs> like looking over my shoulder. So, I think if we let Pete sprint at the top bit and I turn along the top bit, we might drag him under 11 minutes. We might still have it left in. Brand. Um, yet again, me and Peter filmed way too much for one video, so I'm split this into two. So I'm going to end this video here. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you again tomorrow with part two of this ride, where we went a little bit off road, got a little bit lost, and then went to Metro to pick up the Mendic T-shirts. So we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>